My name is Ben Marshall. I'm the head of contemporary music at Sydney Opera House and the curator of Vivid Live. We've been really fortunate over the years to capture an incredible selection of performances, and I'm very excited to share my favourite 10 with you now. I've chosen The Cure's Plain Song to begin with because it's one of the best openings to an album ever for The Cure's classic disintegration, and it was such an unbelievable honour to have the band come and perform their 30th anniversary concerts here. There's a part of my teenage self inside looking at the projection of the Disintegration album cover on the Opera House sales that really can't believe this moment ever came to be.
You just saw Camp Cope performing the opener in the Sydney Opera House Utzon Room and it's a video which gives me chills every time I see it. Up next is a short film by Max Richter's wife Yulia uh, of Max Richter's sleep performances here for Vivid 2016. Sleep was an eight hour overnight performance taking over the Joan Sutherland Northern Foyer and is one of the things I'm most proud of ever being associated with 
This film captures the moments beautifully. I've been dreaming of playing at the Sydney Opera House ever since I was a child. This beautiful, iconic sculpture of a building with its billowing sails. I've played in the concert hall before, but I wanted to return with sleep. It's such a personal project for me, and there's something very emotional in the architecture of this building. In Sydney, we played the piece, not in the main hall, but in the public rooms overlooking the harbour, so that you'd have this amazing view through the windows. I first started working on this piece in 1995, but it's only recently that the time felt right for it. When I play concerts, often my wife listens in via streaming. And since we're in different time zones, it's often the middle of the night. And we talked about this, the liminal state that she listens in. It's an incredibly creative space, this half wakefulness. And of course, it's also a lullaby, something soothing. Many of us live in a fast-paced digital world where we spend so much of our lives curating information and it can, I think for many people, feel overwhelming and perhaps the nights can offer us some kind of creative refuge. I talked to my friend David Eagleman, who's a neuroscientist and who's done some research in this area and to just check out what the sleeping mind goes through, what the processes are, and to see how these could connect in with musical processes. Sleep is a big set of variations. The whole piece is notated. It's very tightly controlled, but I wanted to build this sense of repose. I didn't fully understand when I wrote it what a privilege it would be to perform it for a sleeping audience. There was a most incredible storm that night. The wind and the rain were so loud as we were playing. Um, it felt like it was accompanying us through the night and kind of became part of the performance. Playing sleep is always something of a journey for me. It's physically very demanding. I mean, as a performer, you live in the notes, so focus isn't a problem, but it is a marathon, and you ache, and there's a lot going on. And in the morning, there's this sense of community with the audience. I always really like performing sleep, and I always really look forward to it, and to discovering the meeting point between the venue and the music. Every venue becomes part of the fingerprint of the piece. And I hope that in a small way it does this incredible building justice.
ever since I heard the howling wind I didn't need to go where a Bible went But then you know your gifts seem heaven sent Just lead me to a caller, Dad, that's the thing I don't know how you house the sin But you're free now I was never sure how much of you I could let in So you're free now Once you settle down, baby, here you love is been Heavenly Father Brought to you, love, but you don't carry other names. Uh. Heard about a day where he dropped the note to go another day as we learn to close. I'm a known coward in a coward wind. Woo! But you're free now. You turn around now when you count to ten. See you go now. Well, I know now, honey, that I can't pretend. Heavenly Father. Brought to his autumn and love is left in end. Cause I just been up here for goddamn. Damn fears. I'm free now. Well, I know about it, darling. I've been standing here. Oh, Heavenly Father, He's all that He offers a safety in the end. Oh, my goodness.
guys in me. When this beat drops, I want to see everybody fucking dance. just watch performances from two of the most legendary shows at the Sydney Opera House. Bonnevere's a cappella of Heavenly Father just goes right through me like an x-ray every time and Solange's inimitable rendition of Losing You from Vivid Live 2018. Up next we have Flume's video clip for Some Minds recorded overnight in an entirely empty opera house with help from dancers from the Australian Ballet as one of my favourite things Flume has done.
From back in the day, still ringing me down. I'm on stage, but I want no stress. What they trying to control S coming around to get saved? Shout out to my fucking brother Skepta. My pretty ass ain't never even performed here. I feel some type of way, man. You feel me? But it's cool, cause he here, so I'm here, so that's how that go. Yeah. <laughs> So my niggas with escape plans uh, 20 bands, rain dance We can eat the rain check or we can make plans
ladies, my ladies, you know when you mad at him and you sing this song as loud as you possibly can, I need you to do that for me right now. just watched the incomparable Janelle Monae performing Sincerely Jane live at the Sydney Opera House in 2012, Skepta's Webby Award winning Seconds to Stage and her's astonishing live performance of Focus. This last track is a significant one. Briggs is an Australian creative powerhouse and one of the best rappers we have ever produced. 
his unflinching Indigenous perspective on contemporary music makes us feel uncomfortable about things we should be feeling uncomfortable about, and he's doing it with absolutely knockout music. When Briggs suggested that he curate the entire evening, I agreed immediately and it felt like an important thing to do. The results were incredibly affecting and very, very powerful. And this video does a, a brilliant job of capturing just what happened that night. Where's all the fucking bad apples at? Hey. These guys look like some hey. bad apples. Hey. Hey. Thank you very much for watching. It is a genuine pleasure for me to program art that I love onto one of the world's great stages and I cannot wait to welcome you back to Sydney Opera House soon.